celebrate today's Mass for our individual intentions. We pray for those who ask us to pray for them and those we promise to pray for. Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found true. Hear the prayers of your servants and of your people Israel. Kalina Sharara, Lejamurwa, Lejamuya Obi Tepo, Mopolotomoki Jamarana or Najesu Creste. Lorato la modimo le cablano ya muya obitepo dinne le lona lothe. Amen. So dear friends in Christ today is the 24th Sunday in ordinary time. As Christians we are called to set prisoners free. It is when we actually set prisoners free that we get to realize that that prisoner is ourselves. When we hate People, when we fail to actually forgive people, we put ourselves in prison as well. When you forgive people, you are setting yourself also free. For many times we fail to forgive our brothers and sisters who have offended us. For many times we put ourselves also in the same prison by failing to forgive others. Let us be sorry for our sins. As we are before God today, ask him to grant you that heart that you can actually let go and in so doing, set yourself free as well. Janun, I read
mo di moyo tata yo ke o rutlele botlhoko o rutlele di be ho borise kwa botsilong jo bo sa kutleng Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our hearts. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
Obalwa Molo Kwalung Laha Siraka Kilo Lebo Hali Kidilo Zedi Maswelito Ne Mito Pedi Difikelo Momo Leufing Morena Ota Busulosa Yo Tokomela N Palo Limi Futa Wadi Bito Te Wi Tuarele Mokauli Mwaha fa ho tlusitse botlhoko me tla re o rapela o itshwarelwe dibe a motho o ka batla go tlhomogelwa ke morela ke morena pelo fa ene a tshwere yo mongwe ka pelo o ka rapelela dibe tsa gagwe jang fa ene se bupiwa nyana sa nama Arata huila baba mwe. O kakolo kelwe di lo tabo felo. Me otlo kelwe kotowa. O kakolo kelwe me lao. O seka watowa moka uli mwe wakaku. O kakolo kelwe kolakano ya makodimo dimo. Me uite bate kupiso. Le foko la modimo. Le foko la modimo. Le foko la modimo. Le foko la modimo. Morena Moyawa me le tsotlhe tse di moteng ga me bakang le ina la gagwe le le boitshepo baka morena moyawa me se le ba le sepe sa ditiro tse di molemo tsa gagwe morena o Tuarela maleo akaho ote, ufodi sa makua akaho ote, ugolola botelo jaka ho mtsinye hong, ugoresa bopelo thomuri le mautelo botoku mto hong. Morena ugutelo botu. nabo khale ka metla le seng go khalefela ruri gare 
direle ka fa maleong a rona le seng gore busolosa ka fa ditshiamololong tsa rona ne bo pelo tlomo ri jwa gagwe bo bogolo mo go ba ba moifang ja ka le godimo le o kame le fatshe o tlosetsa ditlolo tsa rona khakala ja ka bo tlhabatsatsi bo le khakala le bo phirimatsatsi from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord. If we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be the Lord, both of the dead and of the living. The word of the Lord. commandment I give to you, says the Lord, that you love one another, even as I have loved you.
Morena Nedaduna. Old Tom Evangelia Brita Puhoya Kamate. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, have patience with me and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me, and should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant, as I had mercy on you. And in anger, his Lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Evangelia Morena.
The whole commandment is summarized into two. Love of neighbor, love of God. When we talk about love of God, I think most of us will say that is is easy, you know. Easy to. And uh, love of neighbor, uh, that we can say is difficult. Some. And not to f talk about forgiving your neighbor or someone who offended you. Is it easy to forgive someone who hurts you? Is it? Is it Yeah, it's not easy to Because if someone actually you love actually hurts you, you see that it's very painful. Mm. The first reading of today from Sirak. The book Sirach was, you no, know, we're told that it was written by one teacher uh, called Ben Sirach. So he was writing this book to uh, the Jews at the time to caution them, to advise them, to uh, let go of hatred, uh, and he was telling them that uh, they should forgive one another. Uh, he says that if it's only when you forgive that God will also forgive you. And I think it's in line with the lost prayer. Mm. Uh, because after a year we have the lost prayer, we say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So it is when you forgive that the Lord forgives you. Not only that, that is when he's also ready to listen to your prayers. And what is this forgiveness that we are talking about? So in the Christian understanding of forgiveness, when we talk about forgiveness, it's about letting go. And letting go is not easy. It's not easy. Letting go from Christian perspective is about the one who is hurt, the one who is offended, you know, going to the one who hurts you to say, let's resolve this issue. 
yo ke mo khopisitseng ke ko go ene ke mo rekere a a ri tshwarelane re bogele qhanyi and that was what we had last sunday me ke se re se bile so nta ga se se fetileng yo za mo fast when it comes to forgiveness we are thinking that the one who offended us should come to us but that is not the case when it comes to christianity for us christians when it comes to forgiveness is about the one who hmm, is offended you go to the one who offended you to say ema or era Let's talk about this. Ka se Kriste go itshwarela go tewa go te. Nna yo ke khopisitsweng ke nna ke go go yo nkhopisitseng ke moreke re a ri tshwarelane. Is it easy? A me go bonolo. That's how I hate you and you go to the person and sit down and resolve issue. Go re re o khopisitswe ke motho bo ya go go ena o mora o re nya ha re ba ka nya khanye. Me lo yana yo khopisitsweng. Is it? And me go bonolo. And that is the difficult part of forgiveness that you are to take the first step. Me ke gone ha bo thata jwa go itshwarela bo le nteng gore nna yo ke khopisitsweng e nne nna yo ke tsang khato. Someone slaps you and you go And you go to the person to say, "Hey, Mona, what you did, I don't like it. Let's talk about it." Is it easy? But that is what you say, you know. <laughs> that is the... So you will take the first step and make sure that you start that process of resolution me khanghela ke gore na ke nna ke tshwanetseng gore ke tse khato ya gore re khone gore re ba kanye e khanya rona and you point out to the person who hurt you to say i don't like what you did you know me o supetsa yo leng gore o go khopisitse o mara gore me ga ke a rata and that is very difficult me so se o ga ga go motho go re dire jalo And as I said, uh, you, when you forgive someone, mm, that is what you are called to do, to do, to set the prisoner free. Mm. When, when someone actually, that is sin, eh? someone offends you, the person is in prison, again, the person sins. Mm-hmm. Now, what we seen, we put ourselves in prison. Mm-hmm. And so you are called mm-hmm. forgiveness is as setting the other person free from prison. Because when the person sees you, the person is uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. The person feels the guilt. Mm-hmm. And the person cannot look into your face. And that is punishment. That is being in prison. And as a Christian we are called to set that person free from that prison. And the moment you set the person free, as a Christian you realize that you are setting yourself free as well. Mm-hmm. Why am I saying this? You see, when when someone also, you know, someone hates you or has done something, you know, against you, something worse. Can I, you also start boiling again? You start boiling. Mm. And then you talk about it and with pain. 
By the moment you cool down and you have actually, you no, know, you try to reflect on it. And you try to let go. All the resolve the issue, the resolve what happened. You see that something happens to you. You kind of breathe in and out, and you feel like something is gone. The fire is gone. So forgiveness actually sets both party free. Mm -hmm. You set the captive free only to realize that that captive is yourself. Some people, they don't even know that, you know, they have offended you. So you will be boiling within. And then you say, Because some who we'll do certain things, uh, you know, without knowing, it's something normal to them. Mm -hmm. right, until you go to them to tell them that ah, uh, what you, you did the other time, I don't like it. <laughs> they do not know. It's when you draw their attention to it, that they actually say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even know. You are not just actually helping the person alone, you are also helping other people that the person, you know, would have, you know, go on offending without even knowing. So that is what we are called to do today. Forgive. Turn to your brother and sister and say, forgive and be free. Hmm? Tell your friend, forgive and set yourself free. Hmm? So that's what we are called to do. Forgive and set yourself free. And that is what uh, Paul was trying to tell the Romans today in the second reading. At the time, a Christian from the Jewish background and others who are just converts. Hmm? And so some who were Jews, uh, they were like the conservative, very tough. Mm. And uh, those who are converts are like liberals, not all that tough. You know? And so they were clashing one way or the other. Mm. And so Paul had to tell them, say, hey, 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 we are, you are not for yourself, so we are for Christ. When we live, we live, you know, for Christ. When we die, we die for Christ. We are one people. It is Christ who unites us together. So he was just trying to tell them, leave your differences. 
Also, in this church, we have the liberals and then the conservatives. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Sometimes, some people want the, some things to be done in a certain way. And some are also a bit flexible. Mm. <laughs> and uh, there's always kind of tension in this. Mm. And so you see, at the end, you see some not talking to some people because this should be done this way. Some are doing it this way. Mm. Then to your friend, say, take it easy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because... We are for Christ. We are all for Christ. Mm. Let's be patient with one another. Because God is always patient with us. And when you go for the sacrament of this reconciliation, when you go to confess your sin, Check, check. When you go to confess your sin with the sacrament of reconciliation, mm -hmm. you go again and again and again, Agar. Mm -hmm. You don't say, ah, I just go once, I sin, that is it, I will not sin again. No, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the Bible says in Romans 3, verse 16, it says, so why are you so, you know, hard on other people? <laughs> so we saw that today, uh, gospel reading, finally. And Peter was asking Jesus, how many times should I forgive my brother or my sister? And what did he say? How many? He mentioned how many? Seven times. Yeah, so Peter said, how many times? Seven. Eh? Is this only seven? Peter hmm? hmm? And Jesus said, how many times? 70 times 7, that will be 490 or, or what? 490 times. Mm. So Peter was asking 7 times, is it 7? Is it 7 times? Should I forgive 7 times? He even did well, because if you go to the Old Testament, you will see three times, eh? three. three. Mm -hmm. That's the maximum. That was the maximum. <laughs> so you go to Amos chapter 1, verse 3. Those who like to read Amos chapter 1, verse 3. Chapter 1, verse 3. Verse 3. Then you go to Amos chapter 1, verse 6. Verse 6. So, again, you go to Amos chapter 1, verse 9. So, you can read from Amos chapter 1, verse uh, 3 to 11 or 13. Mm -hmm. Three times, huh? Three. That's when you see three times, maximum. 
Mm. Mm. So he even did well to say seven because seven is a number of perfection. So if I try to forgive you seven times, then I've done well. Mm, so he was so sure that Jesus would say, Ah, yeah, you have tried. Mm. But Jesus, he was, I think he would be disappointed because he knows the Old Testament, he knows the test well. Mm. Uh, Jesus said, oh no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Mm. If you look at some of the tests, they said 77, Jesus said 77 times seven. Mm -hmm. uh, this one says 70 times 7, which is 490 times. So can you be writing 1, 2, 3, counting up to 490 times? Can you do that? <laughs> Some of us, we have a whole book of offenders, debtors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One offense us, we go, the book is just under your pillow. You go and write it down. Oh, Father Richard offended me today. Tick. Uh, uh, when I was going out, Lesseho also insulted me. Tick. Mm. You can continue that till 490 times. <laughs> so, when I offend you, 490 times before you, for, uh, you can't. So, you, Jesus is basically saying, as often, you know, just forgive and, you know, endless. Mm. For your own sake, forgive. Mm. So that you set yourself free, always. Mm. That is why he used that story we heard today. So, please. So, turn to your brother and sister again to say, forgive and be free. Mm? Thank you. Yeah.
my dear friends in Christ, we are called today to forgive, to set prisoner free. The two prisoners, the other one, other person who has offended you, and then yourself. We know it's difficult. That makes forgiveness a process. Let us pray that the good Lord who grant us that heart to actually let go. Ararapele Modimujaro. Jesus reminds us that if we are to gain forgiveness from our Heavenly Father, we in turn must practice forgiveness in our daily lives. We pray for the grace to forgive those who may have offended us and to banish resentment, anger and hatred from our lives. We pray to the Lord. strength to live our lives in closer accord with his commandments. We pray to the Lord. Systems and so many people are struggling to survive the effects of global warming. We pray for the wisdom and determination to live a life which is not selfishly centered on ourselves but on the survival of God's creation. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have offended by thoughts, word or, or deed, and who have shown Christian charity in forgiving and forgetting our transgressions. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the people 
people of Morocco and Libya, who this week have suffered the terrible consequences of the world's neglect and abuse of our common world. We pray to the Lord. the silence of our hearts, let us now present our individual intentions before the Lord. What do you want God to do for you? Talk to him. Just listen. Let us invite our Mother Mary to intercede on our behalf to always forgive those who hurt us as we say. Dumela Maria, Amen. Amen.
Kaule mwe rapelan hore se tabelo same le salona se among le se hem modimora rayo tatayo tle. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Rokupajaloka Krista Morena Rona Amen. Morena Anne Helona. So let's add the Pelo Salona. Ariel Bohem Morena Modimo Arona. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
today also being the birthday of uh, Floyd. We pray for him in a very special way. And all celebrating their birthdays. Eleruri obuite po morena motwe di wabuite po joke. Kione kamwete pise di neote ria rapela. Kao romela mo yawa haho. Mwodi mo atonye jaka monyo. Ore edit lady. Nemile le madia morena warona jesu kresite. Kanako aene ao kiwa kayona le hotena. Kaura ta modi po hunta hawe. One ya tea sankwe alebo ha. Asangatu hanya ya sene ya baruto baha hawe anti are. Taya anselo na loke. Melo seje. One seke milo wame ulota o abelwang. Mwa oto na mora wa sela lelo. One ya tea senuela lebo hahape. Asena ya baruto baha hwe anti are. Taya anselo na loke. Melo nuele moho sone. One seke senuelo sa madi ame. Madi ya kula hanwe inta e sakutein. Atla tulu wanu na leba libanti huwe itare la dibe. Diransa hon kopola. He's Lord. He's Lord. He's Lord. He has risen from the dead. He's Lord. He's Lord. Every knee shall. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Teresa, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Holy 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us wave each other as a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. La ha 
Preston. Laha 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 Preston.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effect, not our own desires, may always prevail in us. Reukupadjalo ka Krista Murnawaruna. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you.